What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I am back with some more Age of Mythology The Titans action! Spawning in the left side of the map in the red color playing as Loki! His name is Hero OP, his opponent today playing his tried and true Poseidon. His name is Matrius. The map is Oasis. And this is a random game that I have been roped into watching. It's live, it's in stereo, it might be good, it might not, you never know. But it is Loki vs Poseidon and it is on Oasis and we are seeing Hero going for the double Ulf Sark to the corner and then back in strategy. This cleans up three quarters of the goats uh, and is very, very strong. But it, the trade-off is that your early game slows down a little bit because you had to sp build that Ulf Sark. And now we are seeing the Kataskopos moving forward here. Going to try and get that middle of the map. Uh, and funnily enough, both players might know exactly how each other scouts. And the fact that this is going to happen like this, this is going to happen like this. And it does seem like at this point in the game that Hero wins out just a little bit on the goats. Uh, but even then, Matrius still gets a few. And he does also get goats from his lure as well. As we see a couple get picked here. And the final little black spot coming up. And there will be no more. Oh, but that is so unlucky there. Well, not unlucky necessarily. Like he left the he left the zebra, and then one is walking all the way over to Matrius's side of the map. But in the end, you're probably going to lose a couple of hunt to the lure, nonetheless. So, Hero's already up to five villages on food. Gold is coming in, doing all its good stuff. Flag of flagstone of Buhan and dwarven calipers on the map. So you get your cheaper siege and you get your cheaper walls. Though the cheaper walls relic not that useful. Because the walls are already dirt cheap. Imagine if they cost it twice as much. And this relic would make them maybe actually be really worth grabbing. Just as a food for thought. All sucks do spot these uh villages. Starting to gather the, the giraffe over here. Matrius picks them all off. The lure still alive as this final giraffe will be making its way in. As well as the zebra here. He seems to have gotten quite a bit of food from this lure. I think you're only supposed to get 1,000, 300, 600, uh, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100. Matrius... Biggest cheater I've ever seen. 1,200 food. This lure's popped off this game. Absolute insanity. Do you see the spy cast down onto the giraffe over here? Very, very good. So, Hermes on the way. Still going to be a little bit of a later advance time here for Hero. He's going to have to get one more dwarf nonetheless, even after all is said and done. And he will be able to advance. Oh no, he's decided to cut that and go up anyways. That's actually really smart. He has to get up and uh, be able to defend. The Theseus is already out. So it's going to move forward and start harassing these villagers. that are gathering the giraffe. It's going to be really, really annoying here for Hera. The early hero from Matrix is going to be uh, a fairly big threat here. But there are seven villagers already on this food. So he can shank back. It's just micro-wise a little bit frustrating for the defender. Uh, but he does have these zebra back here that he could potentially move back onto. The Hursa is out as well. And by the time this Theseus really gets too much damage done, Hero will be in the classical age and this Hursa will start doing something useful. As the Hursa just going to have to sit back for a little bit. We are seeing the shanking, clicking and trying to shank. And it should be fine. And now, I mean, I just, it's, it's, he, he doesn't really get this much damage really done here. Because now the Hursa's out. Hursa, Theseus. The Theseus does win the initial fight. But a second Hursa is going to come in. And the fact that the the uh, Hippolyta not over there yet. Means that he's, that uh, Hera should be able to finish eating the majority of this food. Before he has to get pushed off it. So in the early game. The Poseidon player against Loki should have a slight advantage. 
at around the five minute mark with a big push onto the onto the animal with the double hero center and maybe one or two uh hippocon at that point so we do see them coming out as well as medium cavalry but instead, Matrius isn't going for that. He's going for elsewhere. I'm not sure exactly what his plan is here. He definitely could have decided to attack this. And Hero is deciding to go straight forward to his opponent's base, looking for a raid potentially onto this food situation here. 41 food left on that giraffe. And Hero is indeed making his way over there. Matrius will be leaving this one before the Hursa get in here as the food does finish up. And Matrius clicks very quickly off of those as the Hursa will not get any value they could attack the granary i imagine that gets deleted though and over here we do see the centaur getting pushed back by those her so they are moving uh very quickly but they do not have hall of fans just yet the troll over here does almost get sniped and in fact we get body blocked by his own ursa and end up meeting his de demise as over here we do see the the micro situation is Going on, almost sniping that that hersa there, uh, that hippocon there. But the hersas do lose two of them. One, one hippocon there with two HP remaining. Centaur comes in, says good day. Will Hero sacrifice his hersa to go after that centaur? He does not. And now Matrius comes into the start of this game with three kills, zero losses as Hall of Fans comes out. That's absolutely huge here for uh, for Matrius, but he is currently housed, so he's going to be throwing that up as fast as he can. A third stable coming up. He will be running out of food fairly soon. So the question is going to be, do you try for a semi-fast heroic in order to get out a pass pest here? Or do you try to stay in the classical age, mass hippocon, and start your farmage? Because that's got to be that's got to be your options essentially there as Hero coming back, finishing up on that zebra. He does have his own herdable situation in his base right now with six villagers on the gold. He does have husbandry and he should be making, if he's only got six dwarves on gold, he should be making gatherers right now instead of dwarves, uh, but he's not. And now Madrius, after picking off three herser, he's got such an advantage here. He can just come in and pick everything off. There is still a healing spring that could be thrown down. Nice micro there from Hero to Garrison. The herser in here is now the fight is starting up. This herser trying to get out. Will manage to make his way out there. We get a Valkyrie spawn there. So I guess those initial three herser uh, have not been completely lost. Needs to keep running that herser onto, from the healing spring. But Matrius actually somehow predicts that the herser is not going to run uh, everything around the town center to run away from those Hippocon there. Uh, but in the end, it looks like Matrius's aggression does actually go the way of Hero here, even after picking one Dwarf off, as the population is now equal. Uh, and we are seeing these, uh, so looking for a little bit of a raid here is Matrius pushing back. Uh, we have a couple of villages on the favor, so it's clear to me that Matrius wants to stick in the Classical Age. So he's going to be getting himself Spirited Charge here. Uh, and then start following that up with farms. Given he's had so much food, he's, that's a completely valid option. Uh, but I imagine that Hero will try for a semi-fast roll here. He's cut himself off of the of the Hursa, and he's waiting on that armory. He's at 68 of 85 pop, just going to keep running around with this Hursa. There's really nowhere for Matrius to raid, except for maybe this location. Uh, this wood line is pretty exposed, but you could move up to this top wood line here. Uh, and one option for Hero would be to get watchtowers here, just in case. Oh, second town center. That is not what I thought was going to happen here. So Hero is deciding that a, a semi-fire stroke is going to net him nothing. And he said he's going to play a little bit more conservatively and boomy. Uh, and what I would like to see here from Hero is maybe, just maybe, something a little bit less common but going Njord here. So the idea would be, you go to town center, Matrius goes one town center to the, or maybe he gets his second town center, but, uh, but Matrius goes to the heroic age and he starts making a pass best. And then you can transition into ring giver Jarl uh, and really hit a very strong mid game timing against those pass best Hippocon with ring giver Jarl, her sir, uh, and get a really big push with the, Walking Woods onto a second gold mine or onto a town center with the mountain giant. Uh, but the town center is up, and this is going to mean that uh, Hero essentially, want, well, want, one, he needs to defend his gold. So he needs to make sure he doesn't get gold starved there, which is going to be a very real possibility. But also more importantly, well, not more importantly, equally as importantly, he's going to have to transition into farms 
very, very nicely here. As we do see the villagers making their way over here, it's going to be actually very, very close as to whether these Hippocon spot them or not as the villagers do make their way over onto these berries. Harrow might be making the prediction that Matrius is not going to check the berries, which it looks like he's not going to do as the Hurst are coming over here. The Hippocon can turn around and take this fight. Harrow not paying attention. He is paying attention, retreating away. Going to probably play a little bit with fire, keep your friends close, your enemies closer as he runs straight past these berry bushes but does not allow them to be seen. Meanwhile, we see the Hurst are attacking Matrius's main base, stopping that wall going up. We do see this troll get spawned. There is Atheseus out here already as the farms are going to start getting thrown down by Matrius. And Houses getting taken out as Hero's throwing up his armory here. And we'll see how that's going to go as the temple's going to get torn down as well. More houses coming up. This gold mine incredibly exposed here. Uh, and the walls are not quite defending it. So we're going to have to see some sort of wild attempt at a defense. Harrow's actually got a lot of resources in the bank. And because he went to town center and he's got an exposed gold mine, I do think it's probably in his best interest to be spending all those resources as fast as he can. He is still making her so from his, uh, his lone longhouse, but losing that temple is going to be a big deal. These dwarves might need to be making a runaway now as the gate is under siege. Going to get taken down incredibly quickly here by those medium cavalry. And over here, these Hippocon will get taken down by the town center and also this one will fall nice play from Matrius to just ignore the town center and make sure he picks those off these dwarves are trying to get away from the Epicon and they do manage to retreat here and there's going to be potentially a crazy attempt here by Harrow to sneak onto this gold mine now what he needs to do is circle around the granary to get onto this gold mine as we do see the Epicon checking this gold out over here Oh, he's just chopping down the wood. Okay. Fair enough. Bragi is incoming. That means Heru's got nothing left. And now the... Oh. The dwarves get found. <laughs> I think Matrius did have some sort of spidey senses tingling as there might be dwarves on that gold mine there. Uh, but Matrius is going to pick off so many of these. And while it's okay, as Hero, uh, as Hero has got the double town center advantage here, losing all these dwarves kind of is going to be simply just equalizing the village account. These are dwarves, so they actually matter a lot more than the gatherers because they help give you that bonus economy that helps you in the game. Uh, but Bragi has come through, uh, but Hera can't use it yet. I would have liked to see Njord here. Now the village is retreating back. Might want to use those to, to shank away. And the village just kind of just I don't know where to go. <laughs> Trying to build up a market here to sell some resources, get some uh, get some golden income. But Matrius is just full foot on the gas, and Hero has got very little hope here to defend this. Drop down to 83 population. He's got his town center helping to defend. Dionysus is on the way though, so a bronze on this is going to be. Very, very brutal, which will force out a Flaming Weapons. But there's no units remaining for the Flaming Weapons to even do anything. So even if Hero casts Flaming Weapons, weapons in this position, he's still got kind of nothing left. Uh, we do see the, the villagers making their way up onto this gold mine here to get a little bit of gold income. He's only got himself four farms here. Going to be running out of food as well. Uh, and Matrius seemingly has managed to find a way forward in this game. He's got 618 wood in the bank, Hero does. So he can throw down a whole bunch of farms in his home base if he really wants to. The Hippocon going to be retreating away. And now Matrius down to 86 of 115 pop. As we do see, the Hippocon now going to start targeting down this gold mine. Over here, Hero does note it's going to be retreating away as fast as possible as those dwarves will continue to eat the uh, the dirt of which they once stood feels bad but it's the way it's the way of the dwarf in this game it seems as these villagers have returned back over onto the berry bushes onto the gold mine here and Hero has dropped below 
on the villager lead here by a little bit. And Matrius is second age. What are these farms here? Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if... Well, Matrius is going Thracian horses. I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised if Matrius just tries to go Mythic Age, Earthquake this town center, attack this town center, and, and kind of end the game that way. But he still hasn't found himself a barracks with Hypaspis just yet. But the Thracian horse cavalry are going to be uh, very, very difficult for the Hursa to deal with nonetheless. Well, the myth units will spawn and you still need to get Atlanta and everything to deal with that as we do see these stray Hursa getting taken down. The Hydra coming in. Are there any low HP villages? No, he's going to be looking to kill off some of these villages and get an extra head here. Smack, one down, no extra head. A little bit sad where that's concerned <laughs> as the Hydra is doing its darnness here to get some more value. Is there a mountain giant spawn? Can help out a little bit as Hydra... Does manage to pick up another one of those. And there goes the flaming weapons. How many Hursa? We got six Hursa here that are attacking. But there's actually a world here where bronze is enough that this flaming weapons really doesn't matter. So he doesn't even have to flame. He doesn't even have to cease fire here. So these uh these Hursa are gonna fall very quickly to the bronzed Hippocon. 37% hack armor isn't the most, but it is enough. As all those Hursa fall, Hera's going down to 70 population here. Gets another Battle Ball spawn. There is still the Hippolyta here. I wouldn't be surprised to see Atlanta getting trained uh, at some point soon if it's not already trained. One random Pegasus sitting on this gold mine over here. As the Dwarves falling, the Ox Carts falling as well. And Matrius manages to push Hero back here. Dwarves into the town center. Another longhouse coming up. Battle Ball is going to try and help defend. Hero is at 100 favor, but he's got nothing that he can really spend of it. That's the Hippocon is just kind of ignoring everything right now. Nice micro from Hero to target down the Hippolyta there with the town center down to 7 HP. Matches very nicely recognizes it, but I feel like Hero has got that on wraps and understands he should focus down that Hippolyta if he can. But the town center will fall nonetheless. As this is a very smart play from Matrius, leveling the town center playing field. The villager total is still very, very close. But Matrius with the advantage, 115 population. He is throwing down his own second town center here. He's got his spy up here. These villagers are going to be making their way up onto this gold mine to help out. Hero definitely wants as much gold income as he can to make some more battle ball. As the Hursa are retreating away, these farms here are very, very crucial for Hero's survival. And Matrius decides to pull back in that moment. I'd love to see him go after the temple here. Continue to, to lay that down, but obviously doesn't realize that Hero is mass gold income right now. We also see Call of Valhalla coming through for Hero as the only real answer to Thracian Horse Hippocon is Call of Valhalla Allstark, but these are completely unupgraded. There's the first Allstark coming out with medium infantry. And the Call of Valhalla will be soon. Is this the right one? No, we got the... It's, you're supposed to get Swine Array. Call of Valhalla just gives you extra HP. Swine Array makes them... Uh, makes the Hippocon actually get counted. So a bit of a mistake there from Harrow. He's now going to start getting Poseidon building spammed upon. Harrow's trying to make some magic work here. But I imagine Matrius will be in the Mythic Age... Fairly soon, he's got his market up. He's got his double town centers up. He's nice and defended in his base here. Now we do see these dwarves getting pushed off the gold mine yet again as Hero's economy takes yet another gigantic blow. And Artemis has been clicked up by Matrius. Probably, he probably doesn't even need to earthquake this town center. He could just earthquake the infrastructure here. Uh, but as that's happening, we do see those Hippocon going straight after the houses to finish those off. Now these Ovsark coming in. Do they have, no, they don't have Call of... They don't have Swine Ray. They just have Call of Valhalla. So even though they do run up to 104 HP, they're still fighting a 217 HP heavy Hippocon. So it's nothing to be... There's the Swine Ray coming through now by Hero. So Matthews does take it as Hero taps out in the 19th minute here. Again, I definitely would have liked to have seen Njord... And more of an attempt at defending the gold mine. 
Just don't let the Hursa come. If you can get a hill fort up or two on this gold mine, then the raids will stop. But the town center was definitely an idea here that didn't quite work out for Hero. Uh, I, I don't know if it was the mistake was the town center necessarily here. There could have been a bigger mistake in going to the heroic age. Uh, he went he went eco tech and Madrius went pure army, and that means you need to have safe resources to go for that. If you don't have safe resources, then the army is going to take you out. It doesn't matter the matchup. Um, and that's kind of how it goes here. Think about the three things you can do in a game. You have to pick two of them. I've made these comments before. You can make army, you can get uh, more economy, or you can get tech. Pick two of them. You can't pick three. So I think what Hera needed to do here was go two town center, full, in, full upgrades, and even make Ulfsark as well as the Hursa if he was going Bragi in order to get Swine Array uh, in order to deal with those, or Call of Valhalla, I should say, in order to deal with those uh, Hippocon. But it didn't happen, and that is the game. GG. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next game.